everyone, Joel Lance here. Today I'm at Ikusha Ramen in Toronto, Ontario. So, we are here for a Kai Dama Ramen Challenge. This is a very traditional Japanese style ramen challenge. Essentially, you start with one bowl of ramen and they keep bringing out bowl by bowl by bowl. For the example, like this. So it's basically like a maximum unlimited ramen like noodle eating challenge. This thing's absolutely insane, but incredibly popular in Japan. This is actually the only location of the brand here in Canada. Um, well, I should say the sister location. They have the chicken location and the pork location literally just like on the same street. Queen Street right downtown, which is super cool. Besides that, you're looking at like California. Otherwise, you're going to like Japan, China. They have brand locations all over the world. But what's really, really cool is the owner here, in fact, is actually one of the disciples of the ramen master himself who started this brand. So super cool, it's about as authentic as you can get, the ingredients are great, everything looks fantastic, smells fantastic. So on the menu itself, they give you a lot of options, like I said, it's as authentic as you can get, coming straight out of Japan. So you actually can pick the firmness of your ramen, they have four different styles of broths themselves. So super cool, I'm super excited. I've never had a ramen challenge like this before, this is gonna be a heck of an interesting one. There's technically no time limit, it's just like unlimited noodles. So. Wish me luck, let's get going, and ultimately, let's have some fun. All right, so like we said, there's technically no time limit on this, it's just like, eat as many noodles as you can. And then when I finish, I have to say, Kanidama Onigashi Mask, which essentially means more ramen or more noodles, please, I, I, I believe. So shout out to Japan. Japan is quite an eating culture. It is a great, unique place, and I'm super excited to try this. So ultimately, let's dig on in here. We've got some pork to stir, and then the rest is mostly just gonna be noodles. So, wish us luck. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's get a, I'll get a timer, rough timer going for myself. So I'm at 351. Uh, let's see, we start at the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Hmm. Ooh. That is actually really delicious. Very hot though. Burning hot, but delicious pork flavor. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here to Kusha Ramen and I'm very excited to be doing a challenge of this nature. I have long seen a challenge of this style on a lot of Japanese eaters, either channels or TV shows. Um, competitive eating is very, very big in Japan. Same as like food challenges and all that stuff. So to be able to do such an authentic uh, Japanese ramen challenge was like such a cool experience. Kanidama onigashi mask. So it's just like so it's like the new noodles and I keep the broth, right? Yeah. Right, cool. So new noodles. Into the broth. I like it. Ooh. Oops. A little slippery. I want it like a firm noodle. I need down my oh my gosh, you mask. I like the texture of it. We'll get a big bowl stack here. Let's see how many of these we can actually eat. It'll be really interesting to see. Ooh. The broth is beautifully flavored though. So as explained, this is essentially an all-you-can-eat ramen challenge. So, you know, typically it'd be like a house record and you just kind of see who can eat the most bowls of ramen in a sitting. I can tell I'm going to be very, very warm by the end of this though. Thank you. I didn't even finish. That's, that is, uh, that is uh, service at its best. Can I also get a little bit more broth, please, if that's yeah. possible? Thanks so much. Like, just fantastic flavor. Now, while in Japan some of them may have like a time limit of the seating, this one did not, and I guess that's very common to not have a time limit per se. It's just like, again, like one sitting, all you can eat as much ramen, um, or noodles, I should say, specifically ramen noodles, as you can um, have in one sitting. Tani dama, oh my gosh, you last part of the Yeah, I'm from Spanish as well. Or, uh, origato, thank you. Origato, thank you. 
Thank you. Very delicious. So you start with the traditional bowl kind of dress as it would, you know, with the meats, the different toppings, and then the kanidama is like just basically more noodles or a second heaping of noodles, please, um, or additional heaping in this case. I'll show some other like uh, flavors here too. Like topping? Things so you can mix it into the ramen. Thank you. That's some more broth. Definitely looks hot though. Some more noodles, thank you so much. They didn't even say it, they know me well. Perfect. We're about four minutes in and onto our, I guess, sick because we started with one. So what I really liked about this place was not only the flavors, the broth was absolutely exceptional. I absolutely loved, loved, loved this broth. But also the fact that you gotta choose the like the firmness of your noodles so you could have them very soft, very firm, normal. I went with like kind of like a firm um, and you can also choose all your broths. Honey, oh my gosh, Matt. I do. I feel like these servings are getting bigger. At least they look bigger. Really good though. Again, this broth is fire. It's so good. Uh, some of the broths which they had, they had like a more traditional like creamy broth, which is kind of what I had. Then they had one which was more like a salt, more like a salt water broth, um, which would be kind of thinner. Um, they had a black garlic, um, then they had like a very spicy broth. So they definitely have a large variety of different broths based on your palate. And of course, with the two locations, you can either get pork or chicken um, and really like everything in between with the different flavors. Ugh, swallow that word. And that's a challenge anybody can come and do, so. Honey dumb, oh my gosh, you're nasty. Thank you. Ugh. Excuse me. And I'm trying the pronunciation. I may be butchering it potentially. Oh, that was the wrong bowl. Or the, the broth bowl, I don't want to mix it in. So I did decide to put a timer on the screen. Um, you know, again, there was ne necessarily no time limit, but I did put a timer on screen just kind of for reference. And I thought it would be interesting to see how long and how much ramen I could actually eat. Um, I've definitely never attempted to eat this m many noodles in my life, especially in one sitting. Um, you know, and I really didn't know where the number was, you know, going to go. It was, well, it was going to be a lot. I thought. Can I get another, please. Thank you. One thing which definitely stood out, um, of course, you know, which is really nice that I was able to choose the firmness of my noodles, so that definitely complemented it, but the quality of the noodles, they just tasted so high quality and seemed so high quality. The textures, the flavors, that mouthfeel. It was uh, it was actually an experience in itself. Just loved it. Yeah, some more broth coming for me as well. Great flavors. Not often I really enjoy really cold water in the challenge, but I really do with this one. It really helps counteract the, the heating nature of those noodles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ugh, compliments to the chef, right? One thing which I identified really quickly in this challenge is how hot I was going to get. I didn't really consider that or comprehend it, um, but I have in the past often brought tank tops to noodle challenges, and they really help because it is one thing to be eating a lot of food and you know to overcome the difficulty associated with that but also then to overcome your body temperature rising at a very rapid level not only from the broth but from the hot noodles you know you're eating a lot of hot stuff and if you're you know have eaten soup before when you're cold or etc it can warm you up quite quickly especially in a large quantity so eating this much you know ramen and ramen noodles and ramen noodle soup and broth I really uh, something I, I kind of overlooked and probably would recommend you a know, tank top or at least being prepared to sweat because I was heating up very very quickly and it was a lot of food um, well or at least to this point it was in a lot of it was even a lot of food I'm not used to eating bent over like that. there we go Ugh. I suppose I can bring it up to me actually 
That's easier. Get some more broth action going in here. Yeah. Delicious stuff. Can I get another please? Thank you. That's called service right there. I found sometimes when I swallowed the ramen, I think it was my, uh, because I was bent over or such to not kind of, um, you know, try to make a mess. But man, I found the noodles were kind of getting stuck in my esophagus. So I'd swallow them and they'd get, you know, they'd clear my throat, but then a slow aching kind of process getting down my esophagus. Um, and it's just cause I was shoveling in there, you know, in so quickly, not chewing them like a normal person would. Whereas if you, you know, you chew your food, you know, and don't just swallow it like I do, of course you wouldn't have this issue. So long story short, definitely chew your food. Can I get another please? Thank you. One other point in consideration, which is int incredibly intriguing to me, and it is definitely true, is the fact of how different eaters for, and, uh, from across the world can like literally kind of specialize or have more, or having like the more familiarity with the food can actually benefit them. I have a friend named Darren, Darren Eats. He uh, is an American, but he has uh, been to Japan, lived in Japan a little bit, and he went over there to do a Japanese uh, TV show before. And so when he did that, they were doing like ramen eating, uh, like noodle challenges from my understanding. Or, and he was saying how the Japanese eaters just had such a skill and proficiency in eating noodles. And it was hypothesized that it was their familiarity uh, you know, with the food, the cultural food, which kind of gave them that potential upper hand. Whereas myself, I don't generally eat noodles, so it was more difficult. All right, we are, I don't know how far. Almost 10 minutes. Look, quite a few noodles down, quite a few to go. And I would say kind of like the cultural familiarity with the food is not just to the food itself. So yes, it would be like the technique of eating noodles, the familiarity of eating noodles. But I think it's also like if like if you, for example, are used to eating hot food, like very, very hot soupy food all the time, I think then like that would just be more familiar, more comfortable. Whereas I like never eat soups in my day to day. I never eat noodles in my day to day. So again, these are kind of uh, strange or foreign items to me compared to something like a steak or a burger. There's our stack. And I know I got some additional things to put in here. What else do we have here? Chili oil. What else do we have? Chili pepper. Ramen sauce. Okay, what's that like? <sighs> what does it taste like? It's a bit savory. I will save it for the end. Uh, gyoza sauce. Nice. And what are these things? So garlic, pickled ginger. Ginger, okay. Uh, spicy takana. Spicy takana. It, it adds more flavor into the, the noodles. And also fresh garlic. Cool. Spicy pickle. Spicy pickle? Yeah. Oh, cool. Thank you. But of course, this unfamiliarity with the food and specialty with the food, again, it goes both ways. So such as just, I'm sure there's some people that aren't as comfortable eating burgers and steaks, um, you know, just like, I, whereas I am comfortable eating those items, I'm not as comfortable eating noodles as some other people. So I thought it was really, really cool, a really cool discussion we had, and just something that I would generally overlook and not think of in my day to day, but it really does kind of go with what you're familiar with and what you're comfortable with. Just like if you're a swimmer versus a runner versus a biker. It's all technically different despite having similarities. Can I get another push? Thank you. Ooh, definitely heating up. This is a challenge that anybody can come do. So if you want to come by the shop, you can definitely come try it. See how many bowls of ramen you can eat. Um, but yeah, it was definitely an interesting one. Like I said, never had I completed or even attempted a challenge like this before. So I was really excited to have the opportunity as it was all, uh, something I thought I would only experience actually in Japan. So again, really speaking to the true authenticity of the ramen, of the shop, of the experience, and definitely something which uh, I was very thankful for the experience. I think it's super cool. And I look forward to coming back here. And I definitely hope to get to Japan one day, but at least in the meantime, I have a very uh, ex authentic experience here in Toronto. All right, maybe I'll try some of this ramen sauce. I said it was savory. Let's try it out. Mm. It is savory. 
so I did have a few like additions there. There's like a ramen sauce, there's gyoza sauce. They had some different pickles, some garlic, etc. Which um, I was planning on using, well, hoping to use kind of later in the challenge. I probably should have started using them a little bit more at this point, as I did find there was just like a lot and a lot of noodles. Um, but we'll have to ultimately see if I end up using any of them at all. The bowl is growing. I think it's time for that Diet Coke action. Everybody here worried me. They said the Diet Coke and Robin's gonna make me blow up. So we'll see what happens. But to that, everyone, I believe that's all the information I have for you today. So like I said, a very, very large ramen challenge featuring basically endless ramen. Like that's basically what this is, an endless all-you-can-eat ramen challenge more or less, although again, it is a technical challenge. So that everyone, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you have enjoyed it to this point so far, please hit that like button. Let me know if you like ramen down below, and ultimately, let's see what happens. Well, I don't think I can ever say I've eaten like Almost 20 bowls of noodles before, so that's the first. in my throat. Yeah. Some noodles. Come on, noodles, go down. Ah, oh, there you go. How you feeling? I feel not bad. Ooh. Every time that happens, it gets a little sticky. Yeah. Sticky situation. Oh. Ooh. There you go. Gravity did its job. Oh. We are about 20 minutes in, 20 minutes, 20 seconds. Let's see how many more of these we get in. Oof. Assuming I don't keep getting them stuck, I think we're going to be okay. Well, I haven't blown up yet with the Diet Coke, so fingers crossed. Voila! More noodles. I know there are definitely some ramen lovers out there, so if you're a ramen lover, let me know down below. Comment, hit that like button. If you live in Toronto, you know where to come. Oh. Body temperature is over 3,000. Twenty-five, forty-five, getting a ramen and chill. A lot of noodles. Luckily, they do do takeout and delivery here, so they can send noodles. You know what I'm saying? Oh. All right. Can you turn this camera on for me? So there's a little thing on back. Just flick that back. Uh, nope. Sorry. The little switch. The little switch. Turn on top. Yeah. No worries. Turn on my camera here. I 
kind of stuck in here. There we go. Alright, let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four. It's like 19 in, 19 ish. Oh. I'd like to at least get a few more. Let's see how many more to get. Let's say a few. So we're at, we said about 19. I don't know, guys. We'll see. Maybe like 20, maybe 22, 23. Let's see what we can do. Oh. Maybe 25. We can really get going here, but we'll just see what happens. Woo. Makes you a little better. Problem is, I'm just getting really hot. Hot, hot, hot. Can I get another one, please? Thank you. So, you give a lot of credit to something like the Japanese eaters, like my friend Max Suzuki. They eat noodles like, like crazy. Maybe it's a cultural thing, but they do really well. Please. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. 
don't know where we're at, but we're getting there. Oh. We are just over 37 minutes in. Oh. Twenty-two. Oh, there you go. This is my goal. If we can get another one in on top of this, I'm fine with that. If I can't, I'm also fine with that. Oh. Oh. Let's get her done. So I think that was 22. I'll try another one, I might as well. Uh, can I get one more, please? Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. No shortage of ramen, that's for sure. I mean, I've literally eaten 20 some bowls of ramen at this point. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I feel fine as soon as I clear some. All right. Woo! Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Come up here. Come up here. This stack is literally like up to my eye line. But as high as, I don't know what, high. CN Tower, Shadow Toronto. Oh. oh, okay. Can I get one more Diet Coke too, please? Thank you. Try one more, and then I'm done. No matter what happens, I'm done. Oh, we're definitely. I think those noodles are expanding my stomach. Yeah, broth is still freaking fire. It's damn good, but oh my gosh, it's a lot of food. So we'll try one more. Can you get one more, please. Uh, let's do it. Or die. Whatever comes first. Oh. Hey Joel, I just plan this on your Friday. Well, can't think of a better way to spend it. 
Eat it around. Oh, okay, last one. That's all, everybody. Woo. Try some ramen sauce. Put more of it. Oh. <laughs> some encouragement. Oh. It is helping. <laughs> Almost there. perfectly to my like, preferred consistency. Let's see how many we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. This will be 24. So 24 bowls <laughs> of ramen. That is definitely the most ramen I've ever eaten in my life. Probably a lot more than the average individual. But I will say it's absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So huge thanks to the staff here, like great service. The hospitality is phenomenal. The food is exceptional. Whether you're doing uh, like takeout, delivery, eating in, whatever you want, really, really cool. So I'm super glad they offered this challenge. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's really cool. It's a, quite an environment in here. So yeah, be sure to come on by, try some of their food, delicious food. Of course, I have the links for the restaurant in the description below, but be sure to check out their Instagram as well. And uh, about that, that's about it. So again, huge thanks to everybody here. And with that, until next time, of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating, get yourself some good food. Maybe don't eat quite this much, but definitely you, you, you do with a, a bowl or two around from here. So I want to thank you again, and uh, that's about it. So with that, have a lovely day. So there we go, 24 bowls of ramen. Definitely, maybe even as much ramen as I've ever consumed previously in my life. I just consumed it, I don't know how long, so. Ramen, y'all, ramen. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there everybody, thanks so much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe, and also I picked two videos, that's right, two videos just for you that you might like, right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now, until next time, have a lovely day.